My name is Javier Montero, and I've been gaming since I can remember. The first game I've ever played, I believe, was Tetris. Um, I had a Game Boy Color that my mom gifted me, and you know, I just loved playing it because uh, I was able to connect, uh, solve the problem by connecting all the pieces together. And if I get into some kind of situation uh, where it's getting to the top, I can just try to figure out how to get it back down to the lower level. So, <coughs> my mom has always gifted me. Uh, she's always been gifting me game consoles. Uh, like I've collected so many, the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, like PSP, like all the way up to the PS4. I'm trying to get a PS5, but it's impossible. But uh, it's always been like I I would say it's always been part of my lifestyle because like I would spend an, like 30 minutes, an hour, like almost every day playing uh, something with my friends. Is this a way that I can connect? And it's like probably one of the best things that I've done uh, coping with COVID recently. So gaming is a way that I can kind of escape reality. Uh, I get to play a, a game where I can be the character doing uh, unrealistic st stuff like Apex, like jumping around, like shooting, or Ghost of Tsushima where I'm like a samurai and I'm just tra op in an open world just traveling like games like that I can just escape and you know immerse myself in a in a story that that's fun to me it's like I'm playing oh, it's like I'm in this it's kind of like I'm playing as the character in the movie um, yeah. I have thought of doing gaming full time or as a content creator uh, and like the thought has occurred to me but I guess like it's a it's kind of a uh, tough road to like achieve. So I'm like also love coding. So I'm trying to do something where I can combine the two, coding and gaming. We'll probably do like game design. Because uh, currently I'm a software engineer and like I if I still have yet to choose like the path that I want to like be, what kind of software engineer I want to be. So uh, possibly like doing game design is like the route that I'm trying to choose. So currently I'm playing uh, Apex Legends, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, occasionally I'll be playing some Splitgate, like a game that's blowing up right now, um, and those are like the main three games that I'm playing right now. Uh, well Apex Legends I've been playing since it came out, and honestly like the developers are geniuses, like they're always coming up with new content that keeps me immersed into the game. Uh, whether it's like a new map or new characters or like just new guns uh, changing the meta like it just keeps the game fresh and just keeps me coming back every single season and that's where it goes to Tsushima it's a single player game um, with some multiplayer aspects in it but uh, the single player is what I mainly play it's just like it's just in the story an amazing storyline uh, and it's made by like one of my favorite gaming companies um, so uh, so when I started playing Apex it was definitely a brand new game that I needed to get adjusted to so uh, I what I did was just like practice with my friends and we just kept growing together um, and then we watched if there was available at the time we would watch YouTube videos and see like how they would play, how other people would play, um, any tips and tricks that they would give us or watch people on Twitch and see what, how they move, how they play. Um, and then eventually we started going better and better and just we started winning games back to back. And yeah. I'm sure that like that would be able to further like people's skills uh, in any games just by doing that same exact like method of trying to improve. Show us a step-by-step on how you go about getting ready to game, um, your process of getting everyone on, of everyone to get on, and any warm-ups that you may do. Mm. Can I pause here? Yeah. So do you want me to like pull out the phone and just like send a text or, because it says show us. Yeah. Um, 
have any friends that would want to play right now? Or do you want me to pretend like I'm gonna, like, I mean, message? You could do that, and then, um, cause I do want to get, like, footage of you actually playing the game. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, if you can do that, just, if you want to text, then do that. Let me see if, cause I know some, some of these kids are, like, in class right now. Right now I'm texting my friends and see if they want to play a game right now. Uh, see if we can get a game going. Get a win. Did I just set the bar high and now I have to win a game? Yeah, now you have to win a game. <laughs> my name is Javier Mateo and that's what gaming is to me. Hey, how's it going? My name is Matthew Rivera. And I've been gaming for 20 years. Yeah, so first time I played a game, um, I was about five or six years old, and it was Crash Bandicoot, actually, for PlayStation 1. Um, great memories playing that from, from my childhood. So what gaming means to me, I, personally, um, it's kind of it's kind of a hybrid of like an escape, but also it's definitely a lot of fun. You know, it's kind of like your own personal world where you can kind of just get into whatever you're doing, whatever you're playing with, whoever you're playing with, and escape the realities of like the everyday life. And it's it's kind of almost therapeutic depending on obviously what you play at times. But for me, it's, it's, it's a nice uh, detachment from, you know, the everyday hustle and bustle go that, that you go about. So there was a time <laughs> at the, uh, the Fortnite hype days when um, I was considering possibly you know trying to reach that peak of pro gaming as I'm sure many people have but that was something that I um, definitely considered at that time I don't think I could ever reach a pro level after seeing what professionals go through and the training that they have to go through uh, very extensive um, in terms of content creation um, I'm, I haven't fully considered doing it or not. I don't think I'm completely opposed to the idea. I just haven't dipped my toe in that water to really test it out yet. So maybe in the future, who knows? So right now my current lineup of games pretty much consists of just a couple, usually first person shooters. Um, primarily right now, Call of Duty Warzone. Um, also Apex Legends. I do dabble in some other RPG games and stuff like that but those games are really what I play primarily and I think the reason I keep on going back to them is that it's always new every every game is online based obviously they're um, battle royales which is you know has just about a hundred people depending on which game um, drop in the game with you and you know it's kind of a survival of the fittest and see what happens and every game has a different kind of play style and, and changes and it's very different and I like that. I like the change of the game. Um, it, it keeps it from going stale. Um, at certain times it can get boring but for me that's what I'm with right now. I like those games. That's what keeps me going back to them. So for anyone who might be playing um, certain games, especially the ones that I mentioned, whether it be Call of Duty Warzone, Apex Legends, all the first person shooters, stuff like that. For almost any game out there, you'll find some sort of uh, content creator or streamer who plays those games and either plays them consistently enough to know that they're good at it or you know you can use it for reference points or, or, or what say you, whatever it may be. But you could always learn through that and I think that's one thing that I learned um, from starting back in Fortnite is watching content creators and professionals play when they would stream their games or watching highlights and stuff like that and you almost innately take on those traits and personality things as much as you can to try to bring yourself up to that level of competition so I think that's kind of how I got better at those games I'm nowhere near the professionals or even certain content creators but 
for me personally, that's how I learned how to elevate my game to a certain level. My name is Matthew Rivera, and that's my story on gaming. And scene.